What's going on guys and welcome back to a brand new video. This is Web Dev Journey and in today's video we're going to be adding the analytics uh, feature to our application. Now not that many people care about analytics but there's a lot of people that really do. So that's why we're adding it later on. Don't worry we are going to get into authentication and then APIs but uh, we're doing uh, uh, what, what was it? Analytics right. It's pretty simple guys to set up. So let's get right to it. And you might have figured out that, hey, um, it's a category provided for Amplify. If you type in Amplify up above, it is a category. So all we have to do is just say Amplify. Oops. Amplify Analytics Add. And bada beam, bada boom, we're going to be adding analytics. Just do Amazon Pinpoint. Uh, I'm going to name it resource name. Yes, I want to. This is asking if you want unauthenticated users to send analytics data as well. And yes, I would like that as well. So yes. And since we are, since it did ask this question, it is going to be providing the auth category as well for us. Since we need authenticated, we're, we're allowing unauthenticated users. That's going to be, you know, authentication. So it's getting that category auth for us. And we could check that out by saying amplify status um here we go. okay here we go so it gave us two categories they added two more categories the analytics which is what we wanted and also the auth because remember we we did allow all unauthenticated users to come in as well so it gave us two those two categories okay so right now the operation is create basically it's just waiting to it for it to create in the um, in the cloud so what we need to do let me clear this out is just say amplify uh, push we want to push all this configuration the analytics and auth push it to the cloud and this is going to create all the resources that it needs to inside of the cloud and we're going to take a look at that as well and there we go. He's saying that, hey, are you sure? Yes, I am. So I clicked yes. And here it's going to take a few minutes, but we could check out the cloud formation and see what kind of stacks this is this is giving us, right? So let's go check that out. So in another tab or another window, browser, whatever, I'm going to go to AWS. AWS dot Amazon dot com. Sign in. And let's go to the cloud cloud front or now cloud front i keep on saying cloud front but it's not it's a cloud formation uh and you're gonna see that hey we got two more things so we got the original one which was in the last app the last video and these are the two things that were added because of the analytics and the auth okay and these are it says nested because they are they're literally inside of this original one if we click in the original one go to the resources you're gonna see down below that hey here it is these are just the uh, stacks that this is a stack for uh, what is it analytics and this is another stack for auth right they're both using stacks but they're nested inside this original one so let's 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 look at this amplify um, the analytics stack. What is it get, giving us? Well, you see that it's created a lambda execution row. It's created a pinpoint function, right? Now remember, this pinpoint is a resource for analytics. Okay. Now check this out. Remember in the last video where the auth row was we didn't have any policies. Now if we check that out, we're gonna have a policy, and this is for pinpoint which is analytics, right? Uh, remember that question where it says that, do you want unauthorized users to send analytics as well? Well, this is basically creating that uh, a profile or creating that, uh, what's it called, policy. It's creating this policy saying that, hey, authenticated users can send uh, analytic data. Also, unauth users can send analytic data as well, as you can see right there. Um, but you could check these things out guys. I'm just showing you that you could go to the council and look exactly what's being created for you guys, right? Although you don't have to if you don't really want to amplify it does everything for you as you saw it created rows new rows it created new um, I um, auth rows unauth rows and also created everything that it needed lambda functions uh, well identity pool this is going to uh, register all of the um, identities authenticated or unauthenticated users is going to keep track of those users um but yeah 
I'm just showing you guys. So anyways, if you go back over here, it should be done. Yes, it is. And if you do amplify status again, you should see that everything, there you go. Everything, there is no operation, no change, meaning that we've already pushed it to the cloud. So we have all the resources. Now I do want to say one thing. If you look at your AWS exports.js, you're going to see that it did change as well. Like I said, this file keeps track of every resource that you're using. Okay. So no need to worry about that. Now, now let's actually start getting into the analytics and it's very, very easy. I'm not even joking with you guys how easy this is. All right. So let's say you want to keep track of a certain, I'm actually going to be getting that uh, code from right here. Like I said, this, remember this get started amplify uh, docs that I, I gave you in the last video. Yeah. That code that we're going to be using is literally inside of here as well, but we want to keep track of every page visit for this page, right? This is the, um, the homepage. So we want to keep track of the homepage visit. How many people visit the homepage? So all we have to do is import that library, import something from the AWS, AWS Amplify. And what we're going to be taking out of this is a, is the analytics module that it provides for us. So control save that. And what we're going to be doing is I'm going to use the use effect. So basically on mount, uh, we're going to be, here we go. So. Once, once this, uh, the, uh, page renders or it mounts, what I want to do is just say, Hey, um, analytics dot record, oops, record this event. So I'm gonna just call this event. I don't know. Home page visit. Okay. Control save. Am I running this? No, I'm not. So let's NPM start this. So NPM start. And here it is right there. So here's our application. I'm just refreshed for good measure, you know? All right. So if we go back to our AWS council, let's type in pinpoint. Like I said, pinpoint is the analytical tool that we're using. You should see, yeah, you should see a project name, amplify react app slash dev for me it might be different for you. So click on that and you're going to see that, Hey, right here on the side, we have analytics and right here we have events, but look at this. We already have endpoints. We already have something going on, right? It's recording some stuff. Let's go to the events and nothing has happened. Do not know why Let's uh, refresh the page. Like I said, for good measure, sometimes I don't know why, but sometimes it works for me. And sometimes it just is not recording, uh, right off the bat. I have no idea why, but let's, let's, let's keep on adding some new records. You, I mean, rec events, right? So you might be wondering why the hell are we going to be an analytics, right? Analytics. I'm not going to, I'm not going to tell you why you should be doing analytics. You should already know why you should be, have analytics in your applications. But for some people are like, Hey, if you want to record user, let's say a uh, user sign in, we could do a record, create a new event. And this time we're going to have a name and some properties, right? Some attributes. So this time I'm going to create an object. I'm going to say right here, the name of this event is going to be user, uh, sign in, right. And we're going to have some attributes. So attributes, attributes, right. And this is just some, uh, other information that we could add. Why is it red right here? So right here, we're going to say that, Hey, what user actually is. So we're going to, what user signed in. So right here, I'm going to say user, uh, name, name is going to be WDJ, but obviously you would want this be, to be dynamic for every person that signs in, but I'm hard coding WDJ for right now, right? Control save recompile. And then let's go to our browser refresh for good measure. Over here, let's try to refresh. And there we go. We got some events coming up. Like I said, it does take some time to, um, I don't think I said this. I said it, well, oh, that, sorry guys. I said, I said that sometimes it does not work. I did not mean that. What I meant to say is that sometimes you gotta wait a while for it to record, right? This is not happen real time. It does take some process in the back end, So that way it processes what's happening and then it'll spit out the, what's it called? The, um, the data for you guys. But there you go, guys, we have analytics working in our application. Like I said, if you just look over here at the uh, AWS dot amplify dot amplify docs, 
like I showed you. It's going to be a, there's going to be a link in the description down below. Libraries, here's the analytics, getting started. It shows you how to get started, record events, right? Uh, record events, here's the attributes, you can even add metrics. Here's automatically tracking sessions if you want to, auto track a session, right? Here's a page view, auto track page views, so that way uh, you can see um, what page view is getting the most, well, views, obviously. <laughs> But yeah, guys, uh, there's a lot of things you could do with analytics. I'm gonna just leave it to you guys, so that way you can just play around with it, see what's going on, just see some stuff, right? Just just get in there and get dirty, right? Um, but yeah, we've basically just added analytics for us, and that is it. Now, if you do want to publish this, making, well, you know what publish is, right? Basically, making this um, live in in your own application. Right, so right now, this is just locally. We have not pushed this live yet. This is just running locally. Obviously, if you want this to run on your actual application running running on the web, what you would have to do is just say, amplify, amplif uh, amplify CMD, publish, and it's going to publish everything for you, making everything good to go. And then, hold on. Once this is done, I'll let, I'll, okay, here we go. And then it's going to say that, hey, uh, no changes. To, all right, my bad. So we already did that. Well, we did the push. We don't need to do the publish. Remember, publish, if, if, if you're doing this manually, then yes, you would have to publish this. I'm super sorry about that, guys. If you're doing this manually, you would have to publish. But since we're doing continuous deployment with Git, we have to add this in the Git. So I'm going to just say uh, Git add everything i'm gonna say git oops git commit dash m i'm gonna say added analytics and then git push and this is going to push everything and therefore once that pushes to the main you're going to see that in our browser go to cloud or right here right here yes right here you're gonna see that hey it started provisioning and started building and all that stuff it's gonna build this once again and then push it out push the real thing out right that's what we wanted but that is it for this video guys we just added analytics dude i'm telling you amplify makes everything super simple look how simple that was all we had to do was just call the analytics module and start using it down here and bada bing bada boom we were starting recording we started to record events pretty simple huh leave a like Hit that, uh, hit that like button, comment down below, and subscribe if you have not. And I do appreciate every one of you guys watching my videos. It means a lot to me that you spend your time watching my videos. So thank you guys, and I will see you in the next video where we're going to do authentication. Since we already have auth from analytics, might as well just you know go through the whole thing about authentication. So that'll be in the next video, guys. Thank you so much, and stay tuned. Bye.